Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so um, Jesus put it on my heart to do all the June messages. So that's what I'm going to do now since I finished the May. Um, just all the prophecies together in one long video. Okay, so first I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's God. He came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross and died for us and rose on the third day. Sorry, my makeup's all smeared. Um, ignore the people on YouTube because they're uh, <clears throat> trying to scam you, pretending to be me. I'll never ask you for money. So, okay. June 2nd, 2023, 1 John 1, 5. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. 1 Peter 2, 3. If indeed you have tasted that the Lord is gracious, John 3, 7. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. James 4, 3, you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss that you may spend it on your pleasures. Ugh, stupid air thing came on. Gonna move to the other room. <laughs> It'll be like a buzzing sound if I don't. Okay, so one second. Okay. Sorry, my husband's watching TV. Hopefully, won't go through the wall. But, alright. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so, James 4.3. You ask, and you do not receive because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. Luke one nine. According to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. I need to fix the screen because it's blurry. <laughs> ah, there we go. It's a little better. Um, all right. Uh, Ezekiel 15, 4. Instead, it is thrown into the fire for fuel. The fire devours both ends of it and in the middle is burned. It is useful for any work. Revelation 17, 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Okay, here's the message. My child, earthquake coming to Alaska sevenfold is going to split the fault line. Germany needs to wake up. Russia is going to attack. Do you see all the prophecies being fulfilled right now? Yet you still question my words. Stop attacking my prophets. My patience is running thin. I am gentle, kind, and loving, but you will eat every word spoken. I told you to look at your fruits. What does the fruit of the Spirit look like? Now compare that to what you look like. Every word is spoken, what comes from the heart. I'm asking you to examine your hearts right now. I told you my plan. I told you it's in full swing. There is nothing stopping me from coming and picking up my bride. It's finished. It's done. Can you even fathom what I have in store for my chosen ones? Your imagination won't even be able to decipher all that I have planned for you. I told you to delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. Before any word is spoken, I already know what you need. So why do you still not believe in me? Oh, you little faith, your hearts are wicked and you are not walking in my spirit. I'm going to put the phone like this so I can not have to hold it the whole time. I am God. I am gentle, <clears throat> loving, and kind. Are you gentle, loving, and kind to your neighbor? I tell you the truth. My wheat and tares are almost done sorting. My righteous are stacking up the rewards in heaven, and my tares are failing miserably. My tares, do you truly believe in me? Is there doubts in your heart? Remember, I know everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts. I know every word you will speak before you even speak a word. I am precise forthcoming and I am meticulous. Every word I speak means something. It's all part of my design, my plan. I told you to have faith. Some of you believe in me with all of your hearts and some of you are seeking whom you may devour and avoiding precious time with me. I told you I want a relationship with you. I am your father. Why do you deny my love for you? Walk in my spirit and ask me for truth. I love you all. Believe in me. Confess I am Lord and I will save you. The wicked try and deceive. Do you think they are going to tell you they are deceiving you? No, they just continue to lie and speak blasphemy out of their mouths. But my child, you all are going to see the truth very soon. 
but it's unfortunate some of you are going to remain asleep and you won't wake up until after I have already come. I keep trying to warn you with future events. I keep giving you signs in my word. My people are weary and tired. They are longing for me to bring them home. Are you longing for me to bring you home? Have you looked at the moon or looked up for my arrival at all? I tell you the truth, your pride is going to be your downfall. You won't relearn. You are set in your ways, man's teachings. You rely on your own understandings, and you have never asked me sincerely for discernment. Your faith is weak, and you parade around with your good deeds, boasting. Didn't I tell you you can't boast about salvation? It's a free gift. My anointed ones spend countless hours retrieving my messages and professing them to my people. Some of them have given up everything for me. What have you given up for me? Where is your heart? I told you, don't tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. That will be the only reward you will receive. I love you and I'm trying to wake you up. Please wake up, children. My warnings are final and I am at the door and my hour is here. I am your Lord God and I have spoken. Jude 1.3 Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write to you exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Zephaniah 2 6 The sea coast shall be pastures with shelters for shepherds and fold for flocks. Habakkuk 2 5 Indeed, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, and he does not stay at home, because he enlarges his desire as hell, and he is like death and cannot be satisfied. He gathers to himself all nations and heaps up for himself all peoples. Amos 3.5 Will the bird fall into a snare on the earth where there is no trap for it? Will a snare spring up from the earth if it has caught nothing at all? First Peter 2.11 Beloved, I beg you as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshy lusts, which war against the soul. Genesis sixteen eight. And he said, Hagar, Sarai is made where you have come from, and where are you going? She said, I'm fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way. Matthew sixteen seven and they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Colossians one five, because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. John three sixteen For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Ephesians three eleven according to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. John 1 7 this man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe June 3rd 2023 message but no man can tame the tongue it's an unruly evil full of deadly poison Philippians 2 7 but made himself of no reputation taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men 2 Thessalonians 1 4 so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure Micah 2 3 therefore thus says the Lord behold against this family I am devising disaster from which you cannot remove your necks nor shall you walk haughtily for this is an evil time Matthew 1 11 Hosea begot Jeconia and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. Mark 1 9. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Job 4 5. But now it comes upon you and you are weary. It touches you and you are troubled. Here's a message. My child, I'm coming. Explosions are coming to Iraq. The financial system is going to collapse. It's soon. Barack Obama is about to step up and be in charge. You are going to see the turn of events change very fast. In the blink of an eye, a sense of peace and a calm feeling, and at the sound of a trumpet, destruction and chaos will commence. Did you see the beautiful sun today? Big and beautiful with a red-orange tint. Keep looking at the moon. You will see a haze with a halo around it. It will look cloudy and mysterious, but beautiful at the same time. Your eyes will be drawn to it, and you will not want to stop looking at it. I want you to keep looking up. I'm using this time to encourage the body of Christ. Not everything meets the eye. Remember, everything I speak means something. I'm leaving you a trail of breadcrumbs so you can find my true calendar date. You are inquisitive, 
and I like that you are searching for me. There's more events coming. You will see everything so clearly so soon. I told you to look up what cometh means. It means something. Do not lose faith. Do not lose heart. I'm coming sooner than you think. I love you. I'm your Abba and I've, sp I've spoken. Trains, more trains, more black smoke. It's coming. Toronto, Wyoming, New Mexico, South Carolina are just some of the places that are going to see a black haze of smoke covering the horizon. So it's already happened in Toronto. Uh, so that prophecy already came true. Um, I'm not sure about the other places because I don't really follow it, but I have I saw a TikTok video in Toronto. Okay. Um, and yes, it was after this prophecy. I think it was like June 6th. Okay, uh, repent and believe in me, children. I'm trying to save you. I love you. I'm your Abba, your father and friend, and I'm delivering you soon. Keep watching. Second Thessalonians 1 7. And to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. John 3 8. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So everyone who is born of the Spirit. First John 3 12. Not as Cain, who was of the wicked one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his works were evil and his brother's righteous. Do you see how he's showing that? Works. It's between faith and works, guys. First Peter 2.11. Beloved, I beg you, as sojourners and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Job 3.7. Oh, may that night be barren. May no joyful shout come into it revelation 14 3 through 6 they sang as it were a new song before the throne before the four living creatures and the elders and no one could learn that song except the hundred and forty four thousand who were redeemed from the earth these are the ones who are not defiled with women for they are virgins these are the ones who follow the lamb wherever he goes these were redeemed from among men, being first fruits to God and to the Lamb, and in their mouth was found no deceit, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Then I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach to those who dwell on the earth, to every nation, tribe, tongue, and people. Here's the message. What do my numbers mean? What does 144 mean? There is a double meaning to my words. Is it the wilderness? Is it a location? Is it the beginning to the end? Is it the bride, my chosen ones? I'm very descriptive with my words. I have designed everything. It's obvious to see if you know what you are looking for. Do you understand what the number means? Have you read it all ways? Triumph, victory, harpazo, the bride gets caught up. Okay, who is my bride? What key do they have? I've told you the key and what it means. It's an open door and in the spirit. That's interesting. I was just adding 14 plus 4, 15, 16, 18. That's interesting because Israel time is 18. Hmm. And he's talking about the 144. Wow. So he's literally hinting to the rapture in this one. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so cool who is my bride what key do they have i have told you the key and what it means it's an open door and in the spirit listening to me and letting me guide you to truth asking me for discernment do you have faith in me do you trust only me to save you do you know me do i know you are you praying to me are you worshiping waiting for my glory to shine down i know my sheep and my sheep know me children you make it way more complicated than it needs to be and try to move this because the light is shining it's driving me nuts <laughs> Let's see okay that's much better um more complicated than needs to be why are you being a worker bee have you tested the spirits can you recognize the holy spirit are you walking in light or are you still in darkness i tell you the truth if you're walking in the spiritual darkness you are not practicing the truth who am i her, sorry, who I am, or no, who am I? I am the great I am. I am your Messiah. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Why are you running from the truth? Why are you rejecting me and denying my love? You are broken and you blame me for your tribulations, not trusting or knowing my true plan for your life that I've already set in motion. Not everything meets the eye. 
To understand, you have to truly seek me and ask me for discernment or you will miss everything. I told you it's in front of your face, but your heart is misguided and you walk in deception, attacking my anointed ones. Did I command you to speak? Do I need defending? I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Children, wake up, O sleeper. This is the end, but it's all beginning. And the next event is fire in the cities. I am sounding the alarm. Believe in me, confess I'm Lord, and I will save you. I love you. You're Adonai, Jehovah, and I have spoken. Wow, and literally the next event was fire in the cities. Leviticus 1 7. The sons of Aaron, the priest, shall put fire on the altar and lay the wooden order on the fire. Here's a message it's not just one fire, there will be many. Lots of cities will burn. Darkness falls, and you, the remaining who comes to me, will have to seek shelter. I will rain down fire and give you a spirit to guide you, to protect you. When my spirit's removed and my chosen ones and children are removed, I will send another to teach you to witness and gather new sheep for my kingdom. I will never stop trying to save you. Revivals and new revelations will commence everywhere. I would rather you be at the wedding feast, but many are not going to make the supper. My door will close when the trumpet sounds. Seven, my child, seven is the key. I love you, believe in me, have faith, and I will save you. My grace is effortless, given to you freely if you accept it. Then he gave me in Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Romans 3, 7. For if the truth of God has increased through my lie to his glory, why am I also still judged as a sinner? Zephaniah 1, 6. Those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought the Lord, not inquired of him. Nehemiah 2 7. Furthermore, I said to the king, If it pleases the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of the region beyond the river, that they must permit me to pass through till I come to Judah. Nahum 1 8. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of his place, and darkness will pursue his enemies. Revelation 5 6. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as though it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent out into all the earth. Ephesians 2 4. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us. Okay, here's the message. Josiah, the king, did he have faith? Was he reluctant to follow my will? Did he love me? Do you love me? Are you reluctant to follow my will? You follow my commands when you love me. When you have faith and trust in me and believe in me, you have my spirit. All you need is a mustard seed of faith. Do you have it or are you oppressing my truth? Have you prayed to me? Have you asked for my will to freely be given to you? Is salvation not a free gift? If you love me, Sorry. Would I not give you what you ask me? If you love me and believe in me, what you ask of me will be aligned with my will for you. Again, the path is very narrow. You search the scriptures, but the true meaning of my word escapes you. I want you to read my word and worship and pray to me, but I want you to ask me for guidance and understanding. Remember, the man will never know the truth of what the spirit knows unless they are guided by my spirit. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Spirit of Truth. John 1.11 He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Galatians 3.11 But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is evident, for the just shall live by faith. Galatians 5.17 For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Here's message. Can you enter heaven in the flesh? So why are you still walking in the flesh? Why aren't you led by the spirit? Where is your faith? Where is your love? The spirit of truth is loving one another. The spirit of truth is knowing me and knowing my voice. The spirit of truth is forgiveness. Put down your fiery arrows from the devil and stop attacking your brothers and sisters. We are all one spirit, and if you are truly one of my sheep, you are mine, and you will never escape my love. But you have to walk in love. Truly, I say to you, love is the key. I will change your heart. I will renew your mind. I will give you a new heart of flesh and get rid of the heart of stone. I'm testing you, children. 
Are you passing my tests? Are you a wheat or are you a tear? I t a tear won't produce good fruit. They will be broken off and tossed in the blazing fire. Fire, are you baptized in my spirit and my water? Who am I? Am I not your water? Am I not your bread of life? My body was broken so you might live through faith, through believing in me. What did I die for? I'm showing you your fruits. Reader, pay attention. You will wish you had listened. The destruction and chaos coming no man has seen. If you have ears to hear, listen, learn. Warnings are final and once my judgment commences, you will have to die for my glory. If you believe in me before you die, I will save you. But I don't want death for you. I want life for you. My heart is broken. Once my judgment comes, my gentleness and kindness is no more. You will be judged as the wicked unless you repent and believe in me. Please, children, I'm trying to save you. I love you and I wish for not one to perish. The dawn is breaking. Look up. I am your redeemer, your rescuer, and I have spoken. Philippians 1.7 just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Revelation 14, 9. Then the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand. Hebrews 2, 9. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower. <sighs> Then the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, might taste death for everyone. Psalm 16, 5, O Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my lot. Proverbs 1, 11, If they say, Come with us, let us lie and wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Romans 9, 12, It was said to her, The older shall serve the younger. Colossians 3, 5, Therefore put to death your members which are on the earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Oh, my acid reflex is acting up. I feel nauseous. Oh, excuse me. I just ate gyros or whatever. Ugh. I can't wait to be in heaven where I do not have to deal with acid reflux. It sucks. It feels like a stomach virus. Ecclesiastes 7.3 Sorrow is better than laughter, for by a sad countenance the heart is made better. 1 Kings 2.11 Just pray, Lord, just take the nausea away in Jesus' name. Cast it to the abyss. Excuse me. First Kings 2.11 The period that David reigned over Israel was 40 years. Seven years he reigned in Hebron and in Jerusalem he reigned 33 years. Exodus 13.9 It shall be as a sign to you on your hand as a memorial between your eyes that the Lord's law may be in your mouth for with a strong hand the Lord has brought you out of Egypt. Philippians 2.5 let this man be in you, which also in Christ Jesus, Ephesians 1, 2, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. 1 John three eleven. for this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Every time I get as a reflux, I get so tired afterwards. It's weird. Colossians 1, 4, since we heard of our faith in Christ Jesus and of our love for all the saints, Jeremiah 1 10 see I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant John 2 9 when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from but the servants who had drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom John 3 11 most assuredly I say to you we speak what we know and testify what we have seen and you do not receive our witness Excuse me, it's awful. Okay, June 4th, 1138 AM. How funny is that? Because the Lord gave me 1138. 
he shook me right at 11.38 on June 4th. I was at church with the family in, in the house. First John 3, 7. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Amos 2, 9. Yet it was I who was destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and he was strong as the oaks. Yet I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Philippians 1, 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. First Thessalonians 2, 4. But as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, even so we speak not as pleasing men, but God who tests our hearts. Mark 1, 6. Now John was clothed with camel's hair and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. Job 11.3 Should your empty talk make men hold their peace, and when you mock, should no one rebuke you? Here's a message. My child, Israel, what is happening? Is the sky dark? Is there peace? Is there chaos and destruction? I told you to keep watching Israel. Everything revolves around Jerusalem. The sickle has it withered. I know you don't understand everything I'm doing, but you will very soon. My spirit is first. Remember, more than meets the eye. What man doesn't understand, the spirit will understand. Just know, no matter what you see, if you are walking in my spirit, you will have my perfect peace. I told you, you will see some destruction. I told you, you will see some chaos. It will come on you like a thief in the night. Keep looking up. I love you. Your Abba, I'm coming sooner than you think. Rouse from the sleep. Do not forget that the spirit is first. Then you will see it all in the flesh. Believe in me, confess your sins to me, and give me full repentance and turn your life over to me. I will save you. Keep watching. Colossians 2.9 And you are incomplete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Jude one seven. Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual morality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Ruth 2 6. So the servant who was in charge of the reapers answered and said, It is the young Moabite woman who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. First Peter 1 3. Blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. John 3, 9. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Message of the day. Galatians five twenty two. This is pretty interesting, guys. So the message of this day, when the Lord shook me at 1138, was literally Galatians five twenty two. And the video that I recorded before I went in to show a home is 522. Come on, guys. That's literally like not a coincidence because my client was outside the car and I had to hurry up. And I didn't even notice because I went golfing that day. And then I went on the golf course and I uploaded it while I was in the um, golf cart. And... Um, when I got back and started looking at the comments late at night, I started seeing people say, did you see the length of that video? I didn't even notice. Just like today, I didn't notice that um, in Strong, someone said that 522 means to lift off. Um, and that's literally what he said. Okay, so this is the message of the day that day. I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another. So that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, revelries, I don't even know what it's saying, and, and the like of which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But do you know what he means by that? 
He's saying when you don't have the spirit, you're walking in the flesh, you're going to be doing those things. So, of course, you're going to be judged by those things. And when you have the spirit, you're not going to want to do those things. Now we all fall short from his glory. But that is why you have to keep seeking his word. Keep seeking him and praying and worshiping him and he will change your heart and your mind. He renews your spirit and you're not going to want to upset him because you fall in love with Jesus. And that is the true gospel. But just because you truly believe him in your heart, but you grieve the Holy Spirit and you fell into sin, does not mean you are not going to be saved if you believe in him 100% in your heart. So, but the spirit of spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Again, such there is no law, and those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Okay. Now he gave me another message that night, June 4th, 2023. Guess what time? 11.22 p.m. Guys, I could not make this up. 1 John 5, 6. This is he who came by the water and blood, Jesus Christ, not only by water, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit who bears witness because the spirit is truth. <sighs> and go away. First Thessalonians 2 9. For you remember, brethren, our labor and toil for labor night and day that we might not be a burden to any of you. We preach to you the gospel of God. Leviticus 12 6. When the days of her purification are fulfilled, whether for a son or a daughter, she shall bring to the priests a lamb of the first year as a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a turtle dove as a sin offering to the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Leviticus 11.12 Whatever the water does not have fins or scales, that shall be an abomination to you. Ezekiel 92.4 Sorry, it's after midnight. I'm on a bowling league with my husband and, you know... He doesn't understand the preacher rapture thing, so um, I still try to make him happy and do things. So I had to do the bowling thing tonight first, and then um, we had to eat dinner like really late. And now I'm doing the messages for God, and I still have to upload some other videos because time is short, I believe. So obedience. Ezekiel 94 The nations also heard of him. He was trapped in their pit, and they brought him with chains to the land of Egypt. Oh, okay, Isaiah 11, 9. They shall not hurt nor destroy in my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Exodus 14, 11. Then they said to Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, have you taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you so dealt with us to bring us up out of Egypt? Okay, here's a message. My child, keep your eyes on Alaska. They're going to need a lot of assistance. The disaster that is coming, no man has seen. The pentacle of the earth's atmosphere is chopping at the blocks. It's going to fall in. When the earth shakes and the fault line breaks, disaster and chaos commence, and Alaskan finances will be hindered. This is part of the enemy's plan. They are using their witchcraft and sorcery to create demonic devices backed by harp. Man-made devices used to create chaos and destruction. I am allowing this because my judgment is coming. Satellite 512 will be a part of the destruction. A portal used by CERN to create radioactive waves and black death will be the new virus. It's all coming after Harpazo. I'm trying to save you from this, children. I'm trying to save this from you, from you, children. I'm trying to arouse you from your sleep. Wake up, O sleeper. My warnings are to help you, not hinder you. 
You tell my anointed ones they aren't hearing from me, but have you asked me? I do not answer to prideful sinners who rely on their own works to save them. So you need to humble yourselves, get rid of your pride, and seek me with all of your heart, and I will answer you. I told you to love your neighbor. You spend more minutes in the day trying to tear down the body of Christ instead of loving and lifting each other up. We are in perilous, wicked times. This is the time to lean on one another and learn from one another while walking in the Spirit and asking for my discernment. Many of my people are speaking my words, but there are many I have not ordained to speak. You will know who is truly from me when you hear my words and you know my voice. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and my sheep know me. They hear me calling them home. I have been sounding the alarm to save you. I have given my people dreams, visions, prophecy to wake you up. I told you in the end times I would pour my spirit out on my people. I am showing you my ways are higher than man's ways. So why are you seeking man for answers? Why haven't you come to me with a sincere heart and asked me for answers? My children, I hear your prayers and I love you so much. But my time is perfect and pleasing. Yes, the spirit is first. I have given you the key to my kingdom. It's up to you if you will use it. When or do not be foolish, virgin, banging on my door when the door shuts. Children, the door will shut and it's so soon. You have no idea what is manifesting in the spirit right now. I'm bringing a supernatural peace and shielding you from fiery arrows thrown at you from the devil. They want you to stray from your character. They are rousing you up to anger to derail you from your current assignment I have ordained over your life. Time truly is almost up and the devil knows it. You are going to see a lot of attacks coming your way. But if you stay in my spirit and do not retaliate evil for evil, you will feel my peace. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. There are lots of events coming that are already taking place in the spirit. You are going to fill that pool to heaven even stronger now. Some of you will even smell and taste the food from the wedding feast. <clears throat> Remember, your father knows what you need before you even ask him. Do you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I am your true salvation. When you are seeking me, you are seeking God. Children, you are still twisting what repentance actually means. Go back to the root word and ask yourself, so what did I die for? Why are you relying on yourself to save you? I told you you will follow my commands because you love me. Salvation is my free gift to you. When you have my spirit, you will feel conviction to deny the flesh and walk in the spirit. But you must believe and ask me to save you. It has to come from the heart. I know every word you speak before you speak it, so you cannot fool me with your idle words. I am listening to every word, and when my children and chosen ones pray, I hear every word. I know you are longing for me to catch you up. Please don't lose faith. I am catching you up soon. I already have the net in the water, and when the last fish is caught in my net, it will get caught up. You will get caught up. I am showing you encouragement through my light shows. I'm bringing you encouragement through my anointed ones. I'm turning the dial way up and you will see my glory in the sky. When you see my light show, film it. Pray to me and ask me to show you heavenly signs. I will show you in my light show. When you ask me sincerely and you keep knocking, I will give it to you. You can ask anything in my name and I will give it to you. You may wonder why my words say that. Evil men who I don't listen to ask for evil things. But my children with my spirit ask me and it lines up according to my will. 
I only want my will for you, so I will give it to you. Have you asked me to reveal the plans I have for you yet? How many minutes a day do you spend time with me throughout the day? Reading my word, thinking of me, worshiping me, and praying to me. Am I an afterthought or do you put me first? Do you think of me only in church when you are surrounded by other believers so you can feel that sense of importance? I am not condemning you. I'm trying to teach you and I'm trying to show you how you can examine your fruits. Do you have any idea how much I love you all? My heart breaks every day when I see the mocking and scoffing and the hate that is spewed out of your mouths. Oh, how Satan is loving every minute of this debauchery. You enjoy seeking whom you may devour and preying on the innocent. He has you under a deep deception, and if you don't break from it, you will believe the delusion I have coming on this whole world. My elect won't be deceived. I say if it were possible, but it's not possible because they are walking by the fruit of the Spirit and they know my voice. Do you know my voice? Are you one of my sheep? You have to have faith to be my sheep. You have to have love to be my sheep. Is there love in your hearts? I feel like I am a broken record trying to teach you the same things, but you do not hear my words and you do not see my witness, so you do not receive it. My words, my true words are lost on you. The storm is coming, child. You are going to see lightning crash down all over the country. Massachusetts, New York, Texas. Lightning is going to strike the ground and cause an electrical surge, making the streets catch on fire. You are all about to see my glory. You will know who is truly speaking from me. Keep looking up, believe in me, repent, and seek righteousness through me. I will save you. I love you, my children. I am your redeemer and rescuer, and I have spoken. Do not stop seeking my true calendar, the Maseroth. You are so close, but there's still a missing piece. You have found it, but you haven't used it yet. I will keep helping you find how to use it as the time draws closer. We are so close to seeing my glory in the clouds. I love you. Thus says the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, your Lord God, and I have spoken. Deuteronomy 18.5, For the Lord your God has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand to minister in the name of the Lord, him and his sons forever. Deuteronomy 14.3, You shall not eat any detestable thing. 1 Samuel 3.9 Excuse me. Therefore El said to Samuel, Go lie down and it shall be if he calls you that you must say, Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And just a reminder, guys, in every message he talks to Jews, unbelievers, and believers. Jeremiah 9.3 <sighs> Wait. Did I say that one? Yeah. Um, and like their bow, they have bent their tongues for lies. They are not valiant for the truth on the earth, for they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. James 2.8. Wow, that was weird because it, well, it's been on 43, never mind. <laughs> if you really fulfill the royal law, according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well. 43, he said it, that was the day he's coming, coming on the 43rd day. Micah 1, 4. The mountains will melt under him, and the valleys will split like wax before the fire, like waters poured down a steep space, or sorry, a steep place. Hebrews 11, 9. By faith, he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. Romans 9, 7. Nor are they all children because they are the seed of Abraham, but in Isaac your seed shall be called. Galatians 1, 11. But I make known to you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me is a not according to man. Genesis 2, 2, 3. And I went up by revelation and communicated to them that the gospel 
which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to those who were of reputation, lest by any means I might run or had run in vain. Yet not even Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Exodus 11, 7. But against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue against man or beast, that you may know that the Lord does make a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. It's awful. I don't get heartburn or anything like that. I literally just get nausea. But I have so much to do, I can't quit. John 14, 9, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me? Philip, he who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Matthew 21, 21. So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what is done to the fig tree, but also if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, it will be done. 1 Corinthians 4.11 To the present hour we both hunger and thirst and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. John 11.3 Therefore the sisters sent to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom your love is sick. 1 John 1.7 But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. In the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses us all from sin. June 5th, 2023 Habakkuk 3 7. <laughs> I saw the tents of Cushan in affliction. The curtains of the land of Midian trembled. Ephesians 3 5, which in other ages was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets. 1 John 1 3. That which we have seen and heard, we declare to you that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians 2.11 And for the reason God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Mark 1, nine. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Genesis 14, 11. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah and all their provisions and went their way. Galatians 5, 18 through 20. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, and heresies. Again, guys, he's saying, if you are not with his spirit, you are considered under the law, and you're in the flesh. See? He explains it. <clears throat> okay, here's the message. My child, the window of opportunity is here. Have you worshipped me today? I love to hear you singing praises to me. Are you praying to me and asking me for discernment? I see you are still trying to speak for me. You love listening to the devil and seeking whom you may devour. Have you read my word today? The bottom has fallen out. Drones, AI, special forces are going to have a big part in the end. This is the end, child. I told you I'm coming on the ninth hour. Now that you know the ninth hour, keep watching. I will not disappoint. My word is true. Do you know what my true Sabbath day is? Have you followed the Maseroth calendar? It shows you my true creation. I showed my anointed one how my, com my coming truly speaks to my people through it. Mathematically perfect, scientifically perfect, and you still can't see my creation. Such sadness how your wicked hearts have become. I gave you free will in this life and you spit it back in my face. Oh, how you are going to wish you had listened. I could have rained judgment down already and squashed you with my sandal. But I'm giving you a chance to change your mind through repentance and let me change your wicked hearts. My anointed ones, I'm speaking through them. I put the words in their mouth and you don't hear my voice. You are my sheep 
<clears throat> my sheep hear my voice. My sheep pray to me and worship me. They give me all of their hearts. My sheep have childlike faith and don't rely on their own understanding. They rely on the Holy Spirit to guide them. Again, I ask you, are you my sheep? I tell you the truth, the gate is very narrow and many never find it. I am giving you a chance to find it. I am giving you a chance to wake up, O oh sleeper. At midnight, the clock will stop and the dial has turned. You will see too, a mirrored image, a reflection. <clears throat> but is it glass or is it a montage? I told you my movie is coming. Are you going to watch it? I love you children, and this is me sounding the alarm. I know you think this is trickery and deceit, or witches stirring up their brew. But do you see their fruits? Do you see the light that glows around my anointed ones when they speak? Oh, my light shines through them. How can you possibly see darkness? when everything they tell you leads back to me. What do I say in my word? <clears throat> the Antichrist will never confess truth that I shed my blood on the cross and came into the flesh. They preach me. That was my husband laughing, by the way. It's not a weird voice that entered the video. <laughs> With some of the things people say. <laughs> um. <clears throat> they preach my love. Oh my God, this is a change. They preach my true gospel of once saved, always saved. Do you think I would take back saving after I've already saved you? Aren't I not a loving and a gentle God? Didn't I tell you when you truly have my spirit, you are convicted by my spirit and you will walk in my spirit? So why are you twisting my words, children? If you don't know me by my word, no angel or demon can snatch you out of my hand, and I won't blot your name out of my book. <clears throat> How do you truly know my love for my children? How do you truly know my love for you personally? I have no favorites, and I love all my children. But what have you given up for me? Haven't I given up everything for you? <clears throat> Didn't I shed my blood on the cross for you and died for you so you may be saved? So why do you think it's not finished? I have already done everything for you. It was finished on the cross. So why are you trying to save yourself? You excuse, your excuse is you think once saved, always saved is a get out of jail free card and a license to sin. But I am holy there is no darkness in me. Don't you have my spirit? I told you, if you are walking in spiritual darkness, you are not walking in truth. Do you get that double meaning? <clears throat> you are children of the light. So you won't be in the dark about these things. You are children of the light. So you have my spirit. You will be led by my spirit. <coughs> <clears throat> and you will walk in my spirit. I will change your mind by renewing it and giving you a new heart of flesh, and I will get rid of your heart of stone. Now you will never be perfect because of your fleshly bodies. You will always fall short from my glory. But that is because I am perfect. There is no sin in me. Didn't I tell you when you truly believe in me and confess I am Lord with all of your heart, you will adapt to my spirit and you will be one with me? Your fruits change over time and I will pull you closer to me. Do you feel that pull now? <coughs> I'm drawing you in. Do you feel the Holy Spirit nudging your hearts trying to make you think that's me trying to wake you up? Are you waking up? Now let's go back to the Sabbath. Did I heal on the Sabbath? I told the man to pick up his mat and walk. Didn't that take faith and belief? Didn't he walk and was immediately healed when he believed? Did I care it was the Sabbath? 
Why do you make this so complicated, children? It's so obvious to see if you walk in my spirit. Many say with your mouths, you know me and you are a believer. But then you get on a public forum and shame your neighbor. Is that the new heart I gave you? Where is the love? The spirit of Christ is patient and kind and loving. Are you kind and loving? I told you to love me and love your neighbor. How hard is it to follow <clears throat> one simple task? Do not judge or you too will be judged by the measure of what you judged by. <clears throat> my people have my spirit and I will not cut off their branches. Do you get it, my holy day, my holy tree? The righteous counted righteous on the day of the Lord, my coming. The separation of the wheat and tares, showing you the end to the beginning. <clears throat> Wake up, child. I am coming so soon. The ninth hour is here. It's funny how you say, I never give dates, but isn't there numbers and dates in my word? Look at the root word and the original translation, and you will find many dates. You will also find time as well. <coughs> I do nothing without revealing it to my prophets first. You are misguided and blind. So let me ask you, are you truly seeking my salvation for you? I tell you the truth, you will perish where you stand and the lack of knowledge, not knowing who I am, the great I am, will be your downfall. Get rid of your pride and get rid of the hate. I see all. I see who my children are. <clears throat> I know my sheep and my sheep know me. I'm calling them home. I will never stop calling them. I would leave all 99 just to find that one. Are you that one? You read my word blindly and the meaning escapes your brain because you have too much pride to learn from me. You think you know what everything means, but aren't my ways higher than your ways? So don't you think it's possible I'm sorry, don't you think it's a possibility you have missed my deeper meaning, my true meaning, <clears throat> my true translation? You strike my anointed ones and you call them evil because they tell you to learn my whole book forwards and backwards. But aren't I a sovereign God? And aren't I the beginning and the end? Didn't the Jews read from right to left? Aren't I a Jew? So why are you complicating the mysteries I am revealing to you in my end? I told you it would be unsealed at the end. <clears throat> I told you I would pour my spirit out in the end times. Let no man deceive you. One second. Why do you think I use man? I'm trying to show you the importance of walking in the Spirit. I'm trying to lead you to truths. Doesn't John walk in the Spirit? Who does John represent? Who does Matthew represent? Do you see the correlation and the difference? What am I trying to show you? Who am I speaking to in these books? Look closely and you will see it's right in front of your face. So much has been right in front of your face. Play on words, analogies, descriptive manifestation of the spirit. Oh, Jesus' clock went off. I hear it through the wall. <clears throat> but you don't see any of it because of your pride. You don't have to agree with what my anointed ones say, but you don't have to mock and scoff at them either. Where's their love in that? Turn the dial and don't listen, but reader, pay attention because you will miss my glory. The groom came and the people slept. Wake up, O oh sleeper, because I am truly coming and I am truly speaking. You are all about to see my glory. 
Look up and watch my beautiful skies turn to ominous skies. Watch my lightning come down and strike. Again, another warning by me for you to wake up. How many warnings is this now? I've called some chosen ones to speak, to share, and to show visions and dreams of my end. I have called my chosen ones to share my gospel, my truth, saved by faith and my grace through repentance. But you do not receive my witnesses, and you do not adhere to my words. Turn from your wicked ways and believe in me. Were you called by the Holy Spirit and ran from the conviction? If you love me, you will abide by my commands. I will change your hearts according to my will. And you will be obedient because you walk by faith. Walk by faith, not by sight, and listen, not just hear. Pick up your Bibles, Geneva preferably, and read, learn, listen. Be guided by the Holy Spirit, not man, and false teachings. I see you calling other prophets, true prophets, while stomping on my anointed one's toes. I tell you the truth, you truly don't know me and can't hear my words, and you have no discernment of who is truly speaking, who I have anointed and ordained to speak. Once saved, always saved, no wrath for my elect, my chosen ones. Do they claim I came in the flesh and died for you, finished on the cross, saved by faith in my grace? Listen carefully, the prophets you are naming are prophets from Baal. Satan says a lot of truths. Remember, he's the deceiver, the father of lies. And right now you are seeing his deception. Prophecies will be fulfilled because I have allowed things to commence. But he will never lead you to me. He wants to see you burn and perish. He wants your souls and he will stop at nothing until he sees you fall. But he can't touch my elect unless I allow it. I will correct as a father would their child, but that means you are one of mine. I correct you out of love so you can pick up the cross and follow me, so you can realize you can't go through this life without my spirit and truly have joy. You can have a manifestation of joy, but you will never have the supernatural peace brought by me and, my Holy, and the Holy Spirit. Wake up, children. Destruction and chaos is about to come down. And no man will want what they are about to see. I say man because if you are left, you didn't have my spirit. So I ask you, have you examined your hearts? Do you have my spirit? Or do you doubt my salvation for you? After the United States is destroyed and left in ruins, China is going to try and take down Russia after China invades America. They want to be the head honcho and have dictatorship over all. They want to rule, but Russia will retaliate and the enemies will fall. Nukes, my child, nukes. They are coming. The enemy has set a date. It's soon. I told you you go up when the nukes go up. Unfortunately, many will die before the wedding feast. I'm trying to save you from this. <laughs> First Corinthians 15, 4. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Colossians 1, 7. As you also learned from Euphrephus, our dear fellow servant, who is faithful minister of Christ on your behalf. Job 3, 5. May darkness and the shadow of death claim it. May a cloud settle on it. May the blackness of the day terrify it. Exodus 11.3 And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. Malachi 3.6 In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Isaiah 28, 3, the crown of pride, the drunkards of Ephraim, will be trampled underfoot. Ezekiel 14, 3, son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble into iniquity, should I let myself be inquired of at all by them. February 15th, 
my midnight cry, May 22nd, my start of Ophicus, the ninth hour. Didn't I say I was coming in the ninth hour? Man, keyword, man will never know my day or hour, but the spirit knows. Hold on. Sorry. I came in the flesh. Flesh can't enter heaven, but spirit can. Is the son not flesh? So therefore the son being a man in the flesh can never know, but the spirit in heaven knows. Do the angels in heaven have my spirit? Aren't I above them? So why would the angels know? This is the man mystery revealed to you. Do you see the correlation? Do you get it now? Aren't you one with me because we all have the same spirit? So plainly to see if you would open your eyes and look. If you would truly see, <clears throat> you will know the secrets to my kingdom. And you will learn to preach my ways and my truths. Am I not the truth, the life, and the way? No one comes to the Father except through me. I gave you ears to hear, listen, and use your eyes to see and walk by faith. John 2.11 This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Amos 4.3 You will go out through broken walls, each one straight ahead of her, and you will be cast into Harmon, says the Lord. Colossians 1.11 Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. Here's another message. <clears throat> Seven. Seven is the key, my completion date. Count the days in between the Sabbath and you will know. Look at the crescent moon. Watch my anointed ones. She has the key, heaven's mysteries. I have chosen her and a few others to highlight and reveal my mysteries to you. I have. There are more revelations coming with my fig tree and my numbers. I am a God of numbers. I have strategically counted my verses to match my numbers, but you don't see my beautiful creation. All of this time right now was sealed away until the very end. This time is now. Can you see it? Are you heeding my warnings? More train derailments coming. Pasadena, Ohio. Scranton, Pennsylvania. Derail an extremely deadly, a massive explosion and people will die. This is a warning. I'm at the door. My warnings are final. Heed them. The hour and the days have been shortened. Do you see that double meaning? The June bride. Oh, what a glorious day that will be. I hope you are wearing your wedding garments. Put on the righteous clothes by believing in me and give me your hearts, child. I will save you. I love you, your Lord God, and I have spoken. <clears throat> April showers bring May flowers, but they would have bloomed in June. Do not miss what I am saying. Look at the numbers. Look at the moon. I love you. I am coming soon. Your Abba, your rescuer and redeemer, this says the Lord, and I have spoken. I'm sorry, thus says the Lord, and I have spoken. First Peter 3 9. Not returning evil for evil or reveling for reveling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Acts 2 11. Cretans and Arabs, we hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So awful. <clears throat> I've had this since I was a child. I won't have it anymore in heaven. Proverbs 9 3. She has sent out her maiden. She cries out from the highest places of the city. Psalm 18 5. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. John 6 9. <clears throat> there is a lad here who has five barley loaves. And two small fish, but what are they among so many? Ephesians 1 9. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he purposed, 
him in himself. Jeremiah 14, 6. And the wild donkeys stood in the desolate heights. They sniffed at the wind like jackals. Their eyes filled because there was no grass. <clears throat> Jeremiah eleven three. And say to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Cursed is the man who does not obey the words of this covenant. Okay, so it was another June 6, 2023 message. And I got this message when I was recording the June 5th message. So in the middle of me recording, the Lord shook me and gave me a message. And this is the message. My child, warn them I am coming. Warn them I am coming. My child, tell them I am coming, that my ninth hour is here. I will not return void on my word. I am the only way, excuse me, I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Why can't you hear my voice, children? Do you see all the warnings I am giving you, trying to wake you up? I have given countless messages to my people. I have given them dreams. I have showed them, shown them visions. Do you see how they are all lining up? Do you see how I confirm one another? You are making a mockery out of yourselves. You are trying to hurt people and you come as the accuser. Who is the accuser? Satan is the accuser. So why are you persecuting my people? Who has called you to do that? Because I would never ask you to attack your neighbor. I would never ask you to scorn them and publicly humiliate them. Children, I'm trying to wake you up. And I have appointed people to do that. Yet you don't listen. And you are not hearing my words. But I am coming. And you are going to see the events change very soon. You are going to see ominous skies. You are going to see lightning strikes. You are going to see more train derailments. You are going to see black fog cover my horizon. I love you children. What do you think I am doing all this for? <clears throat> Why can you not see me speaking to you? My heart is breaking. I'm trying to save you. You have no idea what is coming. You are blind and you are wicked. And you do not serve me. You serve your father, the devil, the father of lies, the deceiver. And you keep letting him deceive you. You don't pick up my book. You don't read my word. You do not speak to me. You do not pray to me. You do not worship me. And you do not have my spirit. You cannot just speak some words blatantly and then think you have a relationship with me. I told you if you come to me and confess I am Lord with your heart, I will save you. Why do you have to make it so complicated? Why do you have to persecute your brothers and sisters? We are all the same spirit. I created you, I love you, and I am coming. So fill up your oil lamps and do not be a foolish virgin. Be a wise virgin. You will be standing at my door. Or sorry, be a wise virgin or you will be standing at my door knocking. Lord, Lord, let us in, but I will not hear you, and I will not let you in, because my time of my grace period will be up. There's still time. Put down your wicked ways. Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that I am Lord, and my word will not return void. Ephesians 2.9 Not of works lest anyone should boast. 1 Corinthians 1, seven, So that you come short and no gift, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 1.5 Because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Exodus 2.12 
So he looked this way and that way, and when he saw no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. <clears throat> Genesis 14, 9. Against Shurdalarmur, king of Elam, title king of nations, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Ariot, king of Elisar, four kings against five. Philippians 1, 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. James 2, 6. But you have dishonored the poor man. Do not the rich... <coughs> do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts Matthew 25 7 then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps <coughs> excuse me this message was literally why I was recording guys Jesus is amazing I'm coming children please wake up my, I shed my blood for you on the cross. I died for you so you may be saved. Yet you reject me. You deny me. Where is the love in your heart? If you do not seek me now, you will have to die for my glory under the swords. The choice is yours. It's time to make it. Because time is running out. I am coming and I do love you. Please wake up, children. These are added scriptures he gave me after the live, or after the recording. Hold on, sorry. Colossians 1.8 You, or who also declared to us your love in the Spirit, Philippians 2.7, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant and coming in the likeness of men, Malachi 1.6 a son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you priests who despise my name. <clears throat> Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? Micah 2, nine. The women of my people you cast out from their pleasant houses, from their children you have taken away my glory forever. Zephaniah 2 3. Seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. See, guys, <laughs> it's everywhere. Rapture's everywhere if you look at it. Hidden in the Lord's anger. Hidden in heaven. John 2, 4, there's so much symbolism in the Bible when you really read it through the Holy Spirit. John 2, 4, Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. <laughs> that makes me laugh. June 7, 2023, Matthew 20, 19. <clears throat> and deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify. And the third day he will rise again. Exodus 21, 7. And if a man sells his daughter to be a female slave, she shall not go out as the male slaves do. Nehemiah 1, 8. Remember, I pray the word that you commanded your servant Moses, saying, If you are unfaithful, I will scatter you among the nations. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 2, 3. I was with you in weakness and fear and in much trembling. Colossians 2.8 Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. 1 Peter 2.9 But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Isaiah 18.4 For so the Lord said to me, I will take my rest and I will look for my dwelling place like clear heat in sunshine, like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. Ezekiel 27.3 <clears throat> And said to Tyre, You who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples on my coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said I am perfect in beauty. Revelation 16, 2. So the first went in and poured out his bowl upon the earth. 
and a foul and loathsome sore came upon the men who had the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image. Daniel 4.9 Belethesazar, chief of the magicians, because I know that the spirit of the holy God is in you and no secret troubles you, you explain to me the visions of my dream that I have seen and its interpretation. Leviticus 1.12 <clears throat> and he shall cut it into its pieces with his head and its fat, and the priest shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire upon the altar. John 3.11 Most assuredly I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. <coughs> okay, here's the message. My child, I'm taking my people. There is no more delay. The trumpet is going to sound and my door closes. The world, the evil sickens me. The hate, the mockery, the fallacy, the judgment. There is no basis or logical reasoning. They blurt things out of their mouths and fueled by the devil. Did you see all the fires? I told you they would come. How many messages did I give you on fires and cities burning? When are you going to wake up, children? And he did. He gave me messages since January with that. Fires are not the only thing you are going to see. You are about to see planes fall. The wind is going to be so strong, the air is going to get in the combustion chamber, cause confusion with the systems, and force the plane to malfunction. Basically, it's too much air, because this is the second warning. He said that last time. <coughs> I told you, you are all about to see my glory. I told you not to attack my prophets. I told you not to attack my people. Now you are able to sh get a show of my pre-wrath. I told uh, my warnings are about done. I will not stand for this mockery, this blasphemous rubbish. I will tear down every city. Once I take my bride, you are going to wish you had listened. Now it's your choice to make. You either walk in my spirit, <clears throat> believe in me with all of your heart, and confess I am Lord, or face my wrath. <clears throat> I am gentle, kind, and loving. I'm a gentle, kind, and loving God, but I am also a wrathful God. And my warnings are about done. I told you to love one another. You bring disgust and hate. You lie and you are full of trickery and deceit. My hour is here. Get your wedding garments on. There's going to be missing children, missing people, and the sky is going to open up. That's weird. Now it's 122 now on the thing. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I told you, you will see a parade of lights. You will see meteor showers. The sky is going to be one big magnetic field of centricity disrupting the center. You are going to see the earth shift and break apart. U.S. map will be severed. California, Louisiana, gone. I'm trying to save you from this. My anointed ones speak on my behalf to save you. You harass them. You stalk them like a lion hunting for prey. Excuse me. <clears throat> you have no idea what is coming. Right when Harpazo happens, Black Death is coming. It's going to kill and destroy so many. You will be locked down and quarantined. You will be assigned a zone. Your medical records will be on the palm of your hand. You will be barcoded and tracked. The mark will follow. You will deny me as your savior to live in society. Or the ones who survive and rebel against society will have to die under my swords for my glory. I am a loving and a forgiving God. I don't want any of this for my children. My heart is breaking. Evil is filtrating through my children's schools. They are sacrificing my children. 
and they are making everything a part of the Luciferian agenda. Many of you ask why I use the name Lucifer occasionally. There's always reasoning and a logical explanation behind the words I use. Your DNA is being changed. The DNA I spelled my name in and created is fading. They are changing it with shots you take. The food you eat and the medicines you take. The entire system is corrupted. But you will always have my seal of approval and my stamp on your life when you give me your heart child through repentance and belief in me. Many I have already healed and sealed their fleshly bodies for protection. I know who my sheep are. My sheep know me. <clears throat> A good shepherd always keeps track of their sheep. He protects them and guides them. So do not worry, children. There is nothing that Satan can do unless I allow it. Luciferian is going to be the name they use for the end of the world agenda. I use it so my people left behind will be able to correlate the two and not get deceived by their deception. Don't you see I wish for not one to perish? I even want to save the wicked and the mockers and scoffers. I love them. They need to test the spirits and stop declaring their own judgment on my people. I did not ordain them to speak. It will never be my will to obliterate them, but I do come to teach them and show them what it's like to truly walk in my spirit, the spirit of Christ. Lord, Lord, let us in. Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. You speak lots of words in my name, but none of them I have asked you to speak. <clears throat> Do you think I need defending? The great I am? Do you think I tolerate blasphemy? Did you pray to me for discernment? Did I did not put my words in your mouth, yet you are still speaking. Look at your hearts, child. Are they pure? Do you come with love and kindness, or are you ready to strike and throw the first stone? You can't argue with this logical reasoning. It's impossible for you not to sin because you have these fleshly bodies. You will always fall short from my glory. But when you are under my grace, I will save you. <clears throat> I will never condemn you. I ask for one simple task. Love your Lord God and love your neighbor and abide in my commandments. When you truly love me, you will walk in my commands and you will want to please me. You will never be perfect. But if you walk in my spirit, you will be guided by my spirit, which leads to life. But if you don't believe in me and you walk in the flesh, it will lead to death. <clears throat> you will please me when you have faith. You please me when you believe in me. Again, why do you make this so complicated? I tell you the truth, you will perish for your lack of knowledge. Some of you are still asking for that sign. Never satisfied, just like the Pharisees. Doesn't matter how many miracles they saw or how many of my prophecies are coming true now. They will never be satisfied. I tell you the truth. If you are under the law, you are not living by my grace. I already saved you when I shed my blood and died on the cross for you. I told you it is finished. So why are you trying to work to get to heaven? Haven't I already made you righteous through believing in me? Do you not want my free gift of salvation? Some of you truly think you are a believer and you know me and I know you. But you are cursed under the law and you don't know me. You put limitations on what I can do. I am God. Do not question your creator. When you mock my anointed ones, you are mocking me. I put my words in their mouth. 
wake up children because this is the final curtain call you think that this is the only fire you will see <laughs> there's going to be many more colorado new hampshire michigan delaware do not test me children my patience is running thin you think you see evil now can you imagine what i see i see fornicators i see adulterers I see murders, murderers. I see wicked, evil, and abominations sacrificing their souls. This is just like Sodom and Gomorrah, and I destroyed it. Do you think you are privileged and you can escape my wrath? My sheep, my children, my people who know me, they know I'm coming for them. <laughs> oh, children, what I have prepared for my people who love me is unimaginable. I can't wait to shower you with blessings. Can you taste the wedding food yet? Some of you, I'm giving you a supernatural taste and smell of the food, an aroma you have never quite smelled before. I can't wait to share this with you. I love you so much. I have prepared a place for you. My father has many rooms and they are ready to go. I'm calling you up, children. Do not lose faith. To my believers who are falling short and mocking and scoffing, stop. <coughs> you are losing your rewards in heaven. I have so many wonderful rewards waiting for my chosen ones. Do not condemn yourselves and ruin it for yourselves. I love you. I know some of you think you are doing right by me, but I would never ask you to attack your neighbor. You have to stay in the spirit and get out of the flesh. Supernatural events are coming. You're about to see the impossible. It's my last chance to try and wake you up before the trumpet sounds. I love you your Abba, your Adonai, and your Rescuer, your Redeemer, and I have spoken. Jeremiah 1.14 <laughs> Then the Lord said to me, Out of the north calamities shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. Leviticus 1.7 The sons of Aaron, the priests, shall put fire on the altar and lay the wood in order on the fire. Almost 3.8 A lion has roared, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? John 3, 9. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Philippians 1, 7. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. <laughs> Oh, Hebrews 1 9. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Luke 14 9. And he who invited you and him come and say to you, Give place to this man, and then you begin with shame to take the lowest place. Mark 1, 2, as it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare your way before you. John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Jesus is a living water, guys. But it's good to get baptized just because, you know, it's a great public announcement to say that you love Jesus. Romans 9, 11. For the children not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works, but of him who calls. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Habakkuk 2, 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak. And it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay, so we're on June 8th, 2023. <clears throat> My watch is dead. <laughs>
<clears throat> Amos 2, 4. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not turn away its punishment because they have despised the law of the Lord and have not kept his commandments. The lies, their lies lead them astray, lies which their fathers followed. Habakkuk 2, 7. Will not your creditors rise up suddenly? Will they not awaken who oppress you and you will become their booty? <clears throat> Peter 3, 7. Husbands likewise dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. John 1 11. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. 1 John 1 4. And these things we write to you that your joy may be full. Lamentations 3 8. Even when I cry and shout, he shuts out my prayer. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Philippians 2.3 Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowlessness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Genesis 3.17 Then to Adam he said, Because you, you have heeded the voice of your wife. Ugh, so horrible. Have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. First Chronicles 2 9. Also the sons of Hezron who were born to him were Jeremiel, Ram, and Shalubai. Habakkuk 2 5. Indeed, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, and he does not stay at home. Because he enlarges his desire as hell, and he is like death and cannot be satisfied, he gathers to himself all nations and heaps up for himself all peoples. I feel like I need, like, coffee or something. <sighs> Zephaniah 2.3, I bet you my husband fell asleep in the chair. <sighs> Might need to go and, like... Turn off the TV. Seek the Lord, all you meek of the earth who have upheld his justice. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. It may be that you will be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. Jude 1 5. But I want to remind you, though you once knew this, that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those who did not believe. See, it's all about your belief in him, guys. There's no works to salvation. The works is the spirit. It's, it's the fruit of the spirit. You know, his doctrine. But anyway. <laughs> Isaiah 14, 8. Indeed, the cypress trees rejoice over you, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, Since you were cut down, no woodsman has come against you. Okay, and here's the message. My child, more fires are coming. Detroit, Michigan, they are going to blow up the farms. They are trying to stop production. Don't you get it, children? If they control your air supply, your water, and your food, they can control you. You will have to rely on them to take care of you. This is the position they want you in. They don't want you to be able to defend for yourselves. After they take out the farms, oil is next. Oil prices are going to increase over $7 a gallon. I think he's talking about diesel there, by the way. For the naysayers out there who said something. It's going to be very difficult for truckers to deliver food or get diesel. So he's saying diesel is going to go really expensive. It's going to be very... Oh, I said that. With no food being delivered, prices are going to skyrocket and reach their highest price. People will have to work a whole day's work of wages and reach their highest price. People will have to... No. Uh-oh. I need to get charger. Phone is dying. Um, people with no food being delivered, prices are going to skyrocket and reach their highest price. People will have to work a whole day's work of wages just to be able to buy a loaf of bread. Times are going to become very scary, children. After I take my chosen ones, you will literally see the world deteriorate. Hold that thought, guys. I'm going to go grab my charger really quick. Be right back.
All right, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't want the film to die and all the hard work be gone. Do the little clicky thingy. It's green. I think it's working. Okay. All right. I left off on Deuteri 8, I think. But I'll just say, just have to be able to buy a loaf of bread. Times are going to become very scary, children. After I take my chosen ones, you will literally see the world deteriorate. Deteriorate. I can't even say that word. Deteriorate. It will go up in smoke and will be in disorder and chaos. I am not trying to put fear in your minds. Perfect love casts out all fear. There is literally nothing to fear if you are mine. I take care of my sheep. I am the good shepherd. Many of you still do not think I am coming. You are still coming against my prophets, speaking my true words. I told you to ask me for discernment. You rely on your own understanding, and you are not asking me to show you. Some of you are so lost. You do not have ears to hear and eyes to see. It's literally manifesting right in front of your eyes and you can't see it. You don't see any of it. You walk around asleep in your little bubble that the world is going back to normal. It isn't. I'm sorry, it's not. The world is over, children. I told you this is the end. The only way to true salvation is believing in me, repenting from your sins and becoming one of my sheep. Oh, so horrible. If you give me your heart, children, I will save you. I love you. I would move to the end of the earth for you just so you might believe in me. I wish for not one to perish. Do you know how much I love you? There is no condemnation in me. So why are you running from me? Why do you ignore my warnings and my teachings? Why are you still under the law? I am pouring my spirit out on my children. I have chosen ones to speak on behalf and ordain them in this position before they were even born. My numbers, my countdown, it's all happening. The dates, children, why are you focusing so hard on the dates? Invitations went out and so many that day got on their knees and prayed to me. Once you believe and give me your hearts and confess I am Lord, you are mine. The angels were rejoicing that day, singing praises to me. I know many of you don't understand my plan, but I have revealed it to my chosen prophets. They see I'm coming for them, my chosen four, my ladies, measured between them, calculating the margin of the moon, tying in the Maseroth. I feel like I had a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I lost my place, sorry. <laughs> um... Tide is rolling in. Um, my hour, uh, sorry. They see I'm coming for them. My chosen four, my ladies, measure between them, calculating the margin of the moon, tying in the Maseroth. The tide is rolling in. My hourglass is symbolic. It's a mirrored image for my dates. Every date my prophets have spoken was by me. I put those words in their mouth. They, my date strategically planned. It set up. For my coming, I showed up in Turkey to protect my people in Jerusalem. Do you see the measures and the lengths of what I will do to save my people? They broke my heart. Do you think I want destruction to commence? I have to make this world new again, and I already know who is going to turn and change their beliefs and come to me. Showed up just beginning and contraction started on Tubi Shavat, February 15th, my holy day, my completion date. The midnight cry I called out to my bride, the groom is coming. Do you think man can strategically count and calculate the dimensions on my true calendar, the Maseroth? Every word spoken means something, but you won't ask me what it means. May 22nd, the invitation, the rehearsal, the warning to accept the invitation and get on the boat. I told you, you will sink, swim, or drown. Many of you are drowning instead of believing and worshiping, praying to me. You are in disbelief. 
disbelief and seeking the world. My sinking children, you have one foot in this world. You still not wanting to let go and doubting your salvation. Doubting that I died to save you. The ones who swam are now in my boat. <clears throat> you won't need a life jacket because I control the sea, the waters, the rivers, and with faith you can walk on it. With faith and belief in me, you can ask me for anything and I will give it to you. Oh, what a glorious wedding feast it will be. My hourglass is based on my time. It mirrors Ophicus, the three and the nine. It is split up and correlates with my word, my scriptures. Do you know my word? The path is very narrow. Many won't succumb to my presence. Do you know my word? Um, they still walk in the flesh. I told you to die to the flesh and walk in my spirit. To survive the fiery darts from the devil, you have to put your spiritual armor on and walk in the spirit so you can block Satan's attacks. You are about to see supernatural things come to life. Here are some of the phenomenons you will see before I catch up my people. Catch up is harpazo, rapture. There is no hidden agenda or double meaning. That event is final and evident. Surely I say to you, if you have faith and doubt not, no hair on you will perish. The sky opening up is one phenomenon you will see. The wind tunnel in the shape of an hourglass will expose their satellites and block the interference of disconnection and disruption. That interference is me. I am giving you more time to repent and believe in me. I'm giving you more time so I can save you. Please don't doubt, children. I created you. I love you. You are my prize. Believe in me. Confess your sins to me and change your heart about me. I will save you. I love you all. I am your Abba, your Adonai, your Messiah, and I have spoken. First John 1 John 1-2, the life was manifested and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life was which which the Father was manifested to us. Leviticus 2-7, if your offering is a grain offering baked in a covered pan, it shall made be made of fine flour with oil. <clears throat> okay, Jeremiah 1-14, then the Lord said to me, out of the north, calamity shall break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. Oh, I can go to sleep. Colossians 3.11 Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Romans 9.3 For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brother and my countrymen according to the flesh. Ephesians 2.14, for he himself is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of separation. Here's the message. The alarm clock set in motion. Count down the day's children, the wedding and the supper with the lamb. Your rooms are being prepared. Remember, your father knows what you need before you even ask him. This world is turning dark and there's still room to get on the boat. Swim to me, children. I will save you. I love you so much. Your friend and deliverer, I have spoken. Colossians 1.9 For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. <laughs> to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Job thirty-eight twenty-two. Have you entered the treasury of snow or have you seen the treasury of hail? How interesting, guys, because literally it's hailing everywhere now. I mean, not everywhere, but a lot of places. We even got here in South Carolina. They weren't that big, though, but they were like probably about that size. But I've seen them other places like crazy big. Um, Job 38, 16. Have you entered the springs of the sea? Or have you walked in search of the depths? Job 39, 7. He scorns the tumult of the city. He does not heed the shouts of the driver. 1 Corinthians 2, 8, 10. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. 
which none of the rulers of this age knew, for they had known they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit, for the Spirit teaches all things, yes, the deep things of God. See, guys, he's trying to tell you the Spirit understands and knows. Man never knows. That's why it says, No man will ever know my day or hour. Does it say Spirit? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say woman either. <laughs> Someone said that in the comments. I thought that was pretty fun. <laughs> He's very clever, Jesus. Okay, <clears throat> June 10th, 2023. Deuteronomy 9 3. So be aware today that it is the Lord your God who is crossing over ahead of you as a consuming fire. He will destroy them and he will subdue them before you so that you may drive them out and eliminate them quickly, just as the Lord has spoken to you. Jude 1 8. <laughs> Yet in the same way, these people, also dreaming, defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak abusively of angelic majesties. Exodus 3.17 So I said I will bring you up out of the oppression of Egypt to the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Havite, and the Jebusite to a land flowing with milk and honey. Isaiah 49, Sheol below is excited about you to meet you when you come. It stirs the spirits of the dead for you, all the leaders of the earth. It raises all the kings of the nations from their thrones. <clears throat> Philippians 1, 7. He likes to use this one a lot. For it is only right for me to feel this way about you all because I have you in my heart. Oh, wait, no, no maybe not. Yeah, this is the same one. Since both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you are all partakers of grace with me. Revelation 16, 2. So the first angel went and poured out his bowl on the earth, and a harmful and painful sore afflicted the people who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his image. Joshua eleven three, To the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and the Amorite and the Hittite, the Perizzite and the Jebusite, and the hill country, and the Hivite at the foot of Hermon, in the land of Mizpah. Joshua fourteen nine. So Moses swore on that day, saying, The land on which your foot has walked shall certainly be an inheritance to you and to your children forever, because you have followed the Lord my God fully. James three eleven. Does the spring send out from the same opening both fresh and bitter water? Mark 2, 9. Which is easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven, or to say, get up and pick up your pallet and walk? I like Matt better, but... 1 John 1, 8. If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Colossians 2, 3. At whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge? 1 Thessalonians 2, 12. <laughs> So that you would walk in a manner worthy of the God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Galatians 5.19 Now the deeds of the flesh are evident, which are sexual morality, impurity, and decent behavior. Romans 7.3 So then if while her husband is alive, she gives herself to another man, she will be called an adulteress. But if her husband dies, she is free from the law. So that she is not an adulteress if she gives herself to another man. John 11, 2. I think Jesus is talking about himself there, to be honest. You know, we're the bride. And he's the husband. And technically we die in Christ. You know, we die to the flesh. And our spirit goes to heaven. I had that revelation the other day. It was pretty cool. John eleven two, 2. <clears throat> and it was the Mary who anointed the Lord with anointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Okay, here's a message. My child, nukes are coming. The end is truly near. I tried to wake you before this destruction happens, but you are not listening. You are an adamant in your own constructive ways. I'm pulling the net up. That's right, you will be caught up, and there is no double meaning this time. There is no more rehearsal, and no more invitations will be sent out. 
The choice is yours to make, to be caught up with me and enjoy the supper with the lamb and the wedding feast or face my wrath. I have chosen my prophets to outline the end for you. It was my last chance and a gift to wake you up, O oh, sleepers, but some of you wish not to be awakened. Some of you wish to seek Baal. The prophets you are listening to telling you you are going to face my wrath are from Baal. The prophets you are listening to, to with a religious spirit are from Baal. Oh, children, I told you the way to my heart and salvation. It's your faith. It's your belief in me. You are following worker bees and Satan. I have made it clear. <laughs> I have even showed you the outline, the time events and the signs of heavens my anointed ones are showing you but you persecute them and condemn them oh how wrong all of you are going to be i told you you who you judge you too will be judged by the measure of judgment you portray children i don't want any of this for you i've given you so many signs how many things have already come true if you go back and get rid of your pride, search the messages, search the scriptures, and you will see I have been speaking all along. Go ahead and outline all the events, write them down, and look for yourselves what have already taken place. I am not sure how much more I can spell it out for you. Judgment is here. It's about to fall. I am catching up my bride. I told you the net is already in the water. I told you to swim to me. Are you swimming, sinking, or drowning? There's not much more time now, and my anointed ones are about to show you how everything I have spoken has lined up with my true calendar, the Maseroth, my signs, and the heavens. Pay attention to my dreamers. I will be speaking the time and the date in their dreams. My anointed ones, you will also reveal it to you. My anointed ones will also reveal it to you. It's coming. No man will ever know my day or hour, but the Spirit knows it all. When you walk in true faith, you have my Spirit. When you believe in me with all of your heart, you have my Spirit. I told you to keep asking, keep knocking, and the door will be open to you. If you believe, you will receive. I know every one of my sheep, and they know me. I have prepared an amazing wedding feast for them. I am about to shower them with so many blessings. A glorious wedding feast. <clears throat> I prepared and planned a beautiful wedding and can't wait to be with my people. Once my bride is caught up, destruction falls. When the nukes go up, my bride and children go up. My chosen ones and my children under the age of accountability. Can you fend for yourselves? Can you comprehend my words and what I have been speaking? My spirit-filled childlike faith, known as the Holy Spirit, leaves with them. For my believers who repent and come to me after the rapture, I will save you. You will have to die for my glory, but you will have eternal life with me. It's almost time. This is your warning, just like in the times of Noah. How long did I give Noah to get on the boat? It's in my word to find it. When you do, you will know too. I love you children. I wish for not one to perish. As you are caught up, destruction and chaos everywhere. The cities will burn. New Hampshire, Colorado, Kentucky, Georgia, California, Texas, Louisiana, New York, Florida, Pennsylvania. And unfortunately, there will be more. Jesus' clock just went off. Not just the United States, Tokyo, France, Italy, Germany, some will burn. I'm trying to save you from these disasters. Repent and turn from your wicked ways <laughs> and believe in me. You see how he says, believe always before repentance or after repentance because when you're truly saved, it's not about repenting from your sins. It's just about, you know, being convicted and falling short from his glory and changing your mind and coming back to him. But you're not losing your salvation when you fall short, when you're truly saved. Believe in me and give me your hearts. I will save you. Remember, I know everyone's heart and I know everyone's thoughts. The path is very narrow and unfortunately many never find it. I've given you so many chances to find it. Are you heeding my warnings? 
I am catching on my people. There is no more delay. Seek me, children, with all of your hearts, and I will give you the desire of your heart. I love you. I created you, and I came to save the world, not condemn it. I will create a new beautiful world, and you will and you will be with me forever. As my people get caught up, Obama is going to rise into power. Do not be deceived. Aliens did not take them. I took them. <laughs> they are going to portray a simulation of the same event. It's all a delusion and a lie. Do not fall for it, children. There's no aliens. They are fallen angels, Nephilims, and demons. Oh, this world is going to get so dark. Once my people are gone, I will no longer block their satellites. And darkness and EMP will happen. The entire grid will be down. Stay inside if you turn to me in prayer and believe in me after. I will save you. If you go outside and are not in constant prayer with me, you won't survive. You are already seeing a glimpse of it now. I told you fallen angels and Nephilims <laughs> will no longer be a mystery. Antarctica will be revealed after Harpazo. Guys, they're already starting to talk about um, Antarctica in the prophecy now. How amazing. They just started doing that after he gave me this. I'm telling you, he's coming. I believe. But not all they display will be truth. You have to look behind enemy lines and find the truth. It will no longer be concealed, but they will still lead you to deception. I told you, CERN, open the portal. Children, you haven't seen anything yet. Every horror movie you have ever seen is about to come to life. You do not want to be here for this. Please listen to my prophets, my visionaries, and my dreamers. They are telling you what is coming. My words of knowledge, people, they are all trying to wake you up. I do all this and pour my spirit out in you because I love you. Why can't you see that? My grace is still here, but when my people are gone, my grace is gone. You will have to prove yourself you are worthy to love me by dying for my glory. The trumpets will sound and you will see me in the clouds soon. I am your rescuer, your redeemer, your Jehovah, your Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. I shed my blood on the cross for you. I died on the cross for you. I rose on the third day. Resurrection is coming. You are about to see my pre-wrath. Many of you will drop to your knees and confess I am Lord before my wrath and I will save you. But after my wrath on judgment day, all will drop to their knees and confess, I am Lord, your Lord God, and I have spoken. I love you. Remember, seven is the key. I gave you the key to my door. Open it. Meet me in the clouds. This set, thus says the Lord. All will come to pass. My words are true. I am your true Messiah and your Lord God, and I have spoken. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 14.8 and the pig, because it has divided hoof, but does not chew the cud, it is unclean for you. You shall not eat any of their flesh, nor touch their carcasses. Enoch 17. And they took, brought me to a place in which those who were there were, and like flaming fire, and when they wished, they appeared as men, and they brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mountain, the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the places of the luminaries and the treasuries of the stars and of the thunder and in the uttermost depths where were a fiery bow and arrows and their quiver and a fiery sword and all the lightnings. And they took me to the living waters and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a, a river, a fire of which the fire flows like water and discharges itself into the great sea towards the west. I saw the great rivers and came to the great river and to the great darkness and went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter and the place hence the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, for someone who doesn't say that Enoch is his true word, it is, they removed it from the Bible. And that's why if you look at the Enoch chapters, which 
I haven't read, to be honest. I just read what God gives me. But I'm still learning about it. But he said, uh, but if you look at, like, the chapters, they actually say his name and, and reference books in the Bible from Enoch. Okay, Enoch 4. And again, observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth, over against it. And you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with growing heat, and so you cannot tread on the earth or on a rock by reason of its heat. I guess fire is coming. <coughs> Come on, Lord. <clears throat> Rebuke you, Satan. Enoch chapter 6. And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them and said to one another, Come, let us choose wives from among the children of men and begot us children. And Samashaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear you will not indeed agree to this, do this deed. And alone I shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath and bind ourselves by mutual imprecations, not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all 200 who descended of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And these are the names of their leaders. Samayazaz, their leader, Arikaba, Ramil, Kokabiel, Tamil, Ramil, Danel, Ezekiel, Barakwajal, Azel, Armoros, Batara, Anala, Zakil, Samsapil, Saturel, Turel, Jamajel, Sariel, and these are the chiefs of ten. That was definitely the Holy Spirit, because I was like, whoa. <laughs> Ob Obadiah 1 3 through 6. The arrogance of your heart has deceived you. The one who lives in the clefts of the rock on the height of his dwelling place, who says in his heart, who will bring me down to earth. Though you make your home high like the eagle, though you set your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, declares the Lord. If thieves came to you, if robbers by night, oh, how you will be ruined. Would they not steal only until they had enough? If great pickers came to you, would they not leave some gleanings? Oh, how Esau will be searched and his hidden treasures searched out. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Haggai 1.8. Oh, I'm sleepy. It's like after one. <sighs> Go up to the mountains, bring wood, and rebuild the temple that I may be pleased with it and be honored, says the Lord. Ruth 2.11 Boaz replied to her, All that you have done for your mother-in-law after the death of your husband has been fully reported to me, and how you left your father and your mother in the land of your birth and came to a people that you did not previously know. Ezra 4.7 and in the days of Artaxerxes, Bishlam, Mithridate, Tabil, and the rest of his colleagues wrote to Artaxerxes, king of Persia, and the text of the letter was written in Aramaic and translated from Aramaic. Jeremiah 1.11 And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I say, I see a branch of an almond tree. Leviticus 2.9 The priest then shall take up from the grain offering its memorial portion <coughs> and shall... Offer it up in smoke on the altar as an offering by fire of a soothing aroma to the Lord. Job 22, 8, 22, 28. You will also decide something and it will be established for you and light will shine on your ways. Oh, I need to do jumping jacks. Matthew 23, 7. And personal greetings in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by the people. Matthew 26, 9. This perfume could have been sold for a high price and the money given to the poor. Ephesians 2 9, not a result of works so that no one may boast. John 3 16 through 18. God so loved the world, he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge the world, but so that the world might be saved through him. The one who believes in him is not judged. The one who does not believe has been judged already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. <clears throat> June 11, 2023.
Oh, I might need to finish the rest in the morning. <sighs> I can't keep my eyes open. Oh, what's there? First John 2 9. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. Ecclesiastes 2 9. So I became great and excelled more than all who were before me in Jerusalem, and my, also my wisdom remained with me. Philippians 1 7. Just it is right for me to thank this of you all because I have you in my heart, and as much as both in my chains and in defense confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. He likes that scripture. Colossians 1 3. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. Deuteronomy 28 14. So you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you this day to the right or the left. You go after other gods to serve them. Job 23 2. Even today my complaint is bitter. My hand is listless because of my groaning. Matthew 28 6. He is not here for he is risen as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. Mark 1 11, then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. James 3 7, for every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. Oh, come on. I can make it. Luke 14 8, when you are invited by anyone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in the best place, lest one more honorable than you be invited by him. Jeremiah 29, 4. Thus is the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all who are carried away, captive whom I cause to be carried away from Jerusalem to Babylon. <clears throat> Obadiah 1, 7. All the men in your confederacy shall force you to the border. The men at peace with you shall deceive you and prevail against you. Those who eat your bread shall lay a trap for you. No one is aware of it. Ephesians 3, 7 of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power. Here's the message. My child, the skies are opening up. I'm catching my people up. I told you I was coming at the ninth hour. My word is true. I'm catching them up at the ninth hour. There's no more delay. I will tarry no longer. Many of you still can't see my signs or how I'm pouring my spirit out to my people. I love you children, but your fallacies are despicable and your accusations and judgments are way off base. I told you if you had childlike faith and believed in me, I would save you. So why are you changing my gospel and why are you spreading bad news? Do you think having to endure my wrath is good news? Wake up, O oh sleeper. I am catching up my bride at the ninth hour before midnight. It's after the net and the water. Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm making it impossible for you to doubt. It's all written in the heavens with my mark and my time stamp on it. Why would I change what has already been written? What comes after the net and the water? Has it crashed into Aries? Many of you are asking what my pre-wrath is. You will see 7.5 earthquakes back to back in the same place. North Dakota will experience my pre-wrath. Wisconsin will experience shaking. Colorado will be hit with back-to-back -back tornadoes. Texas will get an explosion. Freemasonry Temple will fall in Philadelphia. When you see these line of events taking place, you know that my time to pick up my bride is near. You will also see a light show in the sky. It's going to be beautiful but ominous at the same time. Meteorites will fall at my coming. Children, you will not be able to deny my arrival. If you have been listening to my anointed ones, there is no trickery or deceit. Are you even listening to me at this last hour? I love you so much. I will light up the sky for you just so you can feel my presence. I wish for not one to perish. I came to save the world, not condemn it. When you are saved by me, you are saved by your faith and belief in me. You are under my grace. My resurrection is final. I died on the cross for you. I rose for you. Why can't you see my patterns? I have laid it all out for you. So much disbelief that I would reveal anything to my prophets before I do anything, even though it is clearly in my word. I told you to walk in the spirit and walk by faith. Man will never understand. Only the spirit with discernment will guide you to the truth. Are you guided by the Holy Spirit? Are you guided by truth? Let's talk about my fig tree. Has it withered? Have you seen the symbolism of my door? I gave you the key. What does that have to do with my trees? Do you have the fruit of the spirit? Or are you walking blindly? Didn't I say pick up your mat and walk? So why are you walking blindly? Tokyo has the rain fallen. 
but is it real rain? Not just acid, but hail bigger than the size of golf balls. <laughs> I love you, children. Believe in me, confess I am Lord with your hearts, and I will save you. Redemption draws nigh. Look up, for swim to my boat, and you will be in my net. I will not lose one. You will not slip through the holes, because I am whole, and I am holy. You are redeemed by me and my grace when you give me your heart, and you believe. There is only one way to me. It's full repentance, and come to me and believe. I have already abolished your sins on my cross, so why are you trying to save yourself? What did I die for? Get rid of this poisonous yeast portraying the good news. I am the good news. You are saved by your faith and my grace when you believe I am Lord with all of your heart. Let me change your walk. Let me change your life and give you eternal life. You are my sheep. I would search far and wide so you might be saved. I love you. I numbered the hairs on your head. I knit you in your mother's womb. I named you. I know more about you than you know yourself. So why are you denying and rejecting my love? Terrible things are coming no man has seen. Get on the boat, child. If you have faith, you can walk on water to me. I will never forsake you. I will never leave you. My chosen ones, you are my prize. Don't let the storm and the wicked heathens derail you from my path. I am destroying all witchcraft and sorcery, and I will not be mocked. My wrath is about to pour down, and grace period will be over, and my door will be shut. But because I'm a loving God, you can still spend eternity with me if you die and work for my glory. My countenance, my event, it's coming. Don't forget to watch my movie, Lights, Camera, Action. It's going to be a screamer. Repent and believe in me. Walk by faith and be guided by my Holy Spirit. Sorry, be guided by my Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and I will save you. I love you, children. I'm your Adonai, your father, your true Messiah, and your friend, and I have spoken. Second Thessalonians 2, 9-12 through 12. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this reason... God will send them a strong delusion that they should believe the lie, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Psalm 16.3, as for the saints who are on the earth, they are excellent ones in whom is all my delight. Hebrews 2.11, for both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Zephaniah 2.5, <laughs> I just saw that the saints who are on the earth, guys, he brings back his saints with him to the second coming. And if his saints are on the earth, they have to be part of his chosen ones in heaven that goes with him in the rapture. Just another revelation I just got in my head. Uh, Hebrews 2 11, for both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Zephaniah 2 5. Woe to the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Sheratites. The word of the Lord is against you. O Canaan, land of the Philistines, I will destroy you, so there shall be no inhabitant. John 3 9. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? <clears throat> Ephesians 2 5 even when we were dead in trespasses made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved John four eleven. the woman said to him sir you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep where then do you get that living water Psalm 143 7 answer me speedily O Lord my spirit fa fails do not hide your face from me lest I be like those who go down into the pit Isaiah 19 2. I will set Egyptians against Egyptians. Everyone will fight against his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom. Daniel 12 7. Then I heard the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river when he held his right hand and his left hand to heaven and swore by him who loves forever or lives forever that it shall be for a time, times, and half a time when the power of the holy people has been completely shattered. All these things shall be finished. Mark 1 9. If it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. 
Job 38, 12, have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused the dawn to know its place? Ezekiel 19, 11, she had strong branches for scepters of rulers. She towered in stature above thick branches and was seen in her height and the dense foliage. Colossians 1, 11, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. John 3.10, Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel and do not know these things? Oh, can I make it? We're on June 12th. Oh, I'm so tired. John 2.9, When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. Philippians 1.4, Always in every prayer of mine make a request for you all with joy. Ephesians 2, 7, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Job 19, 11, he has also kindled his wrath against me and he counts me as one of his enemies. James 2, 10, for whoever shall should keep the whole law and yet stumble in one point, he is guilty of all. That's right, guys, if you're under the law and not under Jesus, you can't even commit one sin or you're guilty. That's why it's impossible, which is why you need Jesus. <clears throat> Romans 5, 9. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Galatians 17, 6. For he who sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Joshua 1, 11. Pastor the camp and command the people, saying, Prepare provisions for yourselves, for within three days you will cross over this Jordan to go into possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. Okay, here's the message. My child, Ethiopia, and storm is coming. It's going to spread through the city. It's not your typical sandstorm in Africa. This one will be massive and create panic. My pre-wrath is starting, and it's going to get ominous this week. My last chance to shake you and stir you up out of your sleep. I love you, children. This is why I have been giving you so many warnings. And it's true, it is getting ominous this week. You know, you see the skies and stuff. They look ominous. And then all the storms rolling in. <coughs> uh, I'm your Lord. Uh, let's see. I've been giving you so many warnings. Duchess Sweden will get a breakthrough. Now, I looked that up because I didn't know what that was. I think I spelled it right. But I saw this company the night that I got it. And it was something about a Java group that does technology software through Microsoft. And it was like a group of women or something. It's very interesting. But then when I try to click on the link like three days later said not found interesting so I'm not sure what he means by that but I know it'll happen and we will eventually know what it means well the people left behind will because I think we're leaving tomorrow I'm pretty like a thousand percent sure <laughs> we are <clears throat> okay because what would all this be for <sighs> sorry I'm so tired all right, Duchess Sweden will get a breakthrough. It's not a financial one, but it's a change in the system. Look at the hourglass, it would be in the sky. It's going to Mira, my coming. It's blocking the darkness. It's blocking the satellites from causing harm. It will be unblocked once my people are gone and destruction will fall. I told you 8.3 earthquake in California is going to make the map sever. I told you tsunamis will happen, it's all coming. I speak a lot of parables, I have a lot of double meanings, but my word is true. My prophets prophesy in part, they don't always understand every revelation I give them, but they know I'm coming for my bride. I told you I will not tarry any longer, and there is no more delay. I love you children, please wake up, more ice is coming. Rio de Janeiro will get a shaking, but it's not the kind you think. It will get very dark there, very ominous. People won't understand what is happening. It's all part of the mystery unfolding. Don't doubt my children. My ways are higher than your ways. My plans are unfolding now. I've revealed them to my prophets. Many of you still don't believe. Aren't I a sovereign God? Didn't I promise to pour my spirit out on all flesh? But are you heeding my warnings or has your pride hidden you from the truth? You still think you know my word, outlining your pride, not knowing the difference between righteous and unrighteous? 
I told you the spirit knows all, but are you walking in it? Are you walking with me? I love you, but wake up, O sleeper. We are in my ninth hour. Cometh means just beginning or approaching. Have you searched my Maserat? Have you searched my signs in the heavens? Or are you wasting precious time attacking your neighbor? Get the speck out of your own eye before you worry about the speck in your neighbor's eye. Many ask why I use logs sometimes and not speck. A log is an idiom of a tree, and I am portraying your spiritual leaves. You either have the spirit or you don't. It's that simple. You believe in me and it's childlike faith. You confess I'm Lord and I will save you. Don't make it complicated, children. A speck is a derivative of self-awareness. Everything I speak means something. So check your own hearts, children. Do you doubt that I can save you? Are you fascinated by your own good deeds and um, and boasting about your salvation? I am the truth, the way, and the life. Don't complicate it, children. I told you when you see the Father, you've seen me. When you've seen me, you've seen the Father. We are one spirit. I came in the flesh so you might be saved. And I gave you my spirit so you could withstand the foothold of the devil. So are you walking in the flesh or walking in the spirit? Are you counted righteous or unrighteous? If you are unrighteous, it means you aren't trusting in me to save you and you aren't truly believing in me. Many confess I am Lord with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me. I know everyone's heart. I know everyone's thoughts. Are you thoughtful and loving your neighbor, or are you stacking up your afflictions and accusations, ready to hold them on trial for your lack of discernment and revelation from me? I told you we are one spirit, and I am in you if you are mine, so what do I see? What does my Father see? Am I not perfect and holy? And if my Father sees me and I am in you, aren't you looked upon as perfect and holy? Didn't I tell you I would give you a new spirit and get rid of your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh? Didn't I tell you I would renew your mind? The only thing I want from you is to seek me, worship me, pray to me, and love me. I will take care of the rest. When you grow your relationship with me, I grow more in you. You become closer to the Holy Spirit and recognize its convictions. You want to please me because you love me. You want to follow my commands because you love me. You don't try to complete the law because you need to measure up. I paid the penalty of sin. It was finished on the cross. So where is your faith, child? Where is your heart? Where is your love? I ask two simple commands. Love your Lord God and love your neighbor. But you fail miserably at that when you are prowling around seeking whom you may devour and always hunting your prey, stomping down on the innocent. My children with my spirit are humble and kind. They are loving. They are embodied by my spirit and they are guided by the Holy Spirit. I love you, children. Please wake up, O sleeper. I am the good shepherd. I am your teacher. I am trying to show you I made a new covenant under me. I'm trying to show you how you live righteously through me by believing with your heart. I am Lord, but you are stubborn and set in your own ways. You rely on the teachings of man instead of learning my word derived from the Holy Spirit. I do all of this because I love you. You are my chosen. You are my prize, and I am your Lord God, and I have spoken. Oh. Wow, it's so long. <laughs> and if Leviticus one fourteen, remember guys, believers, unbelievers, and Jews is who he's talking to. Sorry if I like fall asleep. And if the burnt sacrifice of his offering to this Lord is of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves of young pigeons. First Corinthians 2.11 For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. First Thessalonians 2.8 So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives because you had become dear to us. Matthew 15.9-10 and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men with he had multiple when he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand. Jeremiah one eleven. Moreover the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Jude one two Mercy, please, and love be multiplied to you. Habakkuk 2.3 For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie, though it tarries. Wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Alright. I'm going to have to do the rest tomorrow. I'm so tired. I just don't think I can make it. 
was trying. But I've been doing this two hours and almost 30 minutes. Oh, so close to being done though. I can do it tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video. I'll start tomorrow. I love you.